Welcome to 3 Minute Thoughts. So there was a concept I've heard of, was a while ago, called Ask Culture versus Guest Culture. And the original origin I can tell from this started back in 2007 on one of these advice columns. A person named Andrea Dondry? I butcherized it. But anyway, 2007, she elegantly explained this thing, which is Ask Culture versus Guest Culture. And Ask Culture is where you grew up in a family in which it's okay to ask for anything at all, realizing you could get a no for an answer. Guest culture is you don't make a request unless you're going to certain you'll get a yes. So you put a little feelers. And when those two viewpoints collide is where you get conflict. And the conflict comes from, in the sense of a guest culture person, is someone from ask culture is asking. They wouldn't be asking unless it's a yes. But I want to say no, so there's confusion on their point, where the person from the ask culture is like, well, if the person from guest culture wants something, why are they not asking? And that's because they don't feel that it's not appropriate to ask because they aren't certain they'll get a yes. I've seen since that original viewpoint, lots of people will discuss this or apply it in different situations. And I thought this would be kind of cool to apply it to how I, to, to various situations as well. But I need to establish first what the concept was before I do that. I also see though people put their own values weighing whether ask culture, ask culture, not ask culture, is better or guest culture is better. I can't honestly say which one is better. I feel that people in guest culture are more empathetic because they're trying to see what other people's viewpoints are to figure out the appropriateness where I could see ask culture being more liberated because they're free to ask and they're okay with getting no's. I don't fully buy into the fact that they're okay with getting no's. But of the two though, yes, I, I am definitely I feel like I'm more of a guest culture that I tend not to make requests unless I feel it is appropriate because I don't want to nag people. There's actually a good recent example is we were having issues with the dryer at where I live. And instead of asking, hey, this is constantly issues and issues and issues and issues for weeks and not working to actually go and say, hey, is this thing working now would have been rude. So I did put out feelers and said, hey, which laundromat do you use? Because I'm interested in that. And that's when the person responded, oh, the dryer's fixed now. Awesome. So there's a bit of reframing there. Again, not sure which one's better, but definitely it's good to know what you are and what you're talking to the person you're talking to, what they are, because you'll get conflicts in communication otherwise. And those are my thoughts. Thanks.